The Red Raider football team is going bowling after an unlikely win last week. We'll have a look back at the game and what's next for the team coming up. Tech fans weren't the only ones celebrating after Friday's victory in Austin. Coach Cliff Kingsbury also had a lot to be thankful for following the Red Raiders rally. Find out more next. And the campus had another close call last week after authorities received reports of a bomb in the parking lot. We'll have all the details and an update on Monday's bomb threat. This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the Monday edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Alma Bustamante. And I'm Katie Main. Last week, most members of the tech community spent time with friends and loved ones while enjoying the Thanksgiving holiday. That's true, Katie. But for the Texas Tech football team, last Thursday was spent prepping for their final chance to become bowl eligible. And luckily, that sacrifice paid off. The Red Raiders made up with the Texas Longhorns in Austin on Friday night. Tech went into the matchup with a losing record against a Texas team that had won three of their last four games. The game kicked off with some surprises as backup quarterback McLean Carter started in place of senior Nick Shimanek. Carter remained in the game until the fourth quarter, scoring one rushing touchdown and throwing for 237 yards and two interceptions. With Tech losing 23-13, Shimanek was called off the bench and given the task of relying or rallying the team to victory. Shimanek did just that as he threw for 96 yards on just four completions and two touchdowns. The winning score came in the last three minutes of the game as wide receiver Cameron Batson caught a 16-yard pass to put Tech ahead 27-23. The Red Rider defense stepped up one on Texas' final series, intercepting a pass and guaranteeing the victory. Friday's win not only allowed the team to become bowl eligible, it was also the biggest comeback for a Red Raider squad since 2006. Texas Tech is now in a holding pattern with hopes of a selection by a bowl next week. Early projections have Tech going to either the heart of da Dallas Bowl or the Texas Bowl. Bowl selections will take place next Sunday after conference championships wrap up on Saturday. Texas Tech fans and the Red Raider football team weren't the only ones thankful for Friday's victory. Head coach Cliff Kingsbury also had a lot to celebrate this past weekend. Following Friday's game, athletic director Kirby Hoka officially announced that Kingsbury would return as head coach for the 2018 season. Kingsbury's status as head coach has been in question throughout the season, especially following the loss to TCU in Lubbock the previous Saturday. But Friday's victory and Tech's bowl berth assured that the program's 15th head coach would retain his role for at least one more season. In a post-game interview, Hoquette said, quote, Cliff has led this program the right way. We are not where we want to be. We are not far off, but we aren't there. Hoka also mentioned that he will be meeting with Kingsbury to discuss ways to improve the program in the coming weeks. For now, Kingsbury will be working with the current Red Raiders to prepare for the team's anticipated bowl appearance. In other news, the Texas Tech campus became an active crime scene last Monday after a bomb threat was reported on campus. At approximately 2.30 p.m., the Lubbock Police Department and the Lubbock Sheriff's Office were called out to investigate a suspicious package in a parking lot behind Talkington Hall Residence Hall. Officers on the scene closed off the area surrounding Talkington Hall and all surrounding buildings and parking lots were evacuated. Tech alert messages were also sent, to, sent out to alert the campus community of an impending situation. After a short investigation of the scene, the bomb squad was called out to remove the suspicious package which was attached to a vehicle in the parking lot. At approximately 4.30 p.m., the device was placed in the bomb squad's containment pod and removed from campus. The final all-clear came at 5 p.m. after officers finished investigating the area. Later that evening, authorities announced that the suspected bomb was a non-functioning device. However, the investigation into the incident continues. If you have any information regarding last Monday's bomb threat, you can contact the Lubbock Police Department and leave an anonymous tip via the department's crime line. Just call 806-741-1000. The School of Art is always a great place to check out unique works from artists from the Tech campus and beyond. And right now you can stop by and see an exhibition featuring works from an award-winning photographer. Peter Glendinning, My Paris, is currently on display in the Art Building's SRO photo gallery. The installation features various phot photographs taken by Glenn Dinning in Paris, France during two week stays each summer. During his stays, Glenn Dinning rented an apartment and the photos showcase various items in and around the residence that help tell the story of the, nostal of the nostalgic environment. 
the My Paris exhibition was recognized by the American Society of Media Photographers as one of the best works of 2015. Prior to, the, prior to Texas Tech, the installation has been on display in New Orleans, the University of Central Florida, and a gallery in Brussels, Belgium. If you are interested in seeing the exhibition, you can stop by the Art Building's SRO Photo Gallery Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sundays from noon to 4 p.m. All of the School of Arts galleries are free and open to the public. Students sticking around the Lubbock area for the Thanksgiving holiday enjoyed a weekend of warm temperatures and mild conditions. That's right, Katie. Thanksgiving Day, we saw temperatures in the mid-70s and the rest of the weekend, high temperatures stayed around or above 70 degrees. So can we expect more of the same as we head into the final days of November? Let's take a look at the MTTV forecast. The Memorial Circle Camp is showing bright sunny skies today and temperatures have already climbed into the mid-70s. Before the end of the day, we should see high tops out just below 80 degrees. Unfortunately, we've also seen quite a bit of wind today, with speeds staying around 20 miles per hour. Overnight, the wind will stick around and temperatures will drop off into the upper 40s. Tomorrow, we'll continue to see an increase in winds and gusts could reach up to 30 or 40 miles per hour. The winds will keep temperatures cooler tomorrow, with highs expected to reach the upper 60s. After sunset, the winds will begin to blow from the north, bringing a cold front into the area. Temperatures will drop below 40 degrees after midnight and we could see lows near freezing early Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, temperatures will remain cool with highs staying around the upper 50s and low 60s. Luckily, the winds will be much lighter and we'll see a few clouds throughout the day. On Wednesday night, temperatures will again drop into the upper 30s and will continue to see partly cloudy skies. On Thursday, we'll see a return of windy conditions with gusts near 30 miles per hour early in the day. Temperatures will again be cooler with highs predicted to only um, reach 60 degrees around sunset. Temperatures will begin to fall and overnight lows will be in the mid-30s. The winds should also line up late in the even evening. Looking ahead, a warm-up is back in the forecast as we head into the weekend. The Red Raider basketball team continued its impressive preseason run with another victory over the weekend. Over the weekend, the men took on Savannah State on Saturday at the United Supermarkets Arena. The game was another blowout for the team as they topped the Tigers 103-69. Jarrett Culver, Zaire Smith, and Naeem Stevenson scored a combined 53 points, with Jarrett and Stevenson each scoring 18 points apiece. The trio contributed to the first 100-point game for Tech since a victory against South Carolina State in 2014. Next up, the Red Raiders face Seton Hall in New York City on Thursday in the 2017 Under Armour Reunion doubleheader. Tip-off is set for 5.30 p.m. and you can catch the game on Fox Sports 1. The Lady Red basketball team was not as successful after reviving a former Big 12 rivalry at the USA this weekend. The Texas A&M Aggies made a stop here in town on Sunday, defeating Tech 90-56. A&M was ranked 19th in the country, and the Lady Raiders had hoped to continue a winning streak and a chance at some national recognition. Unfortunately, the Aggies were too much for Tech, holding top scorer Brittany Brewer to just 12 points. The Lady Raiders finished out a seven-game homestand with a Thursday date with the LSU Tigers. Tip-off at the United Supermarkets Arena is set for 6.30 p.m. The game will also be televised on Fox Sports Southwest Plus. The Texas Tech basketball team will soon have a new home during the week here on the Tech campus. The university recently made an announcement of plans for a $23 million basketball practice facility. Earlier this month, Athletics Director Kirby Hoka officially released the details regarding the new Dustin R. Womble basketball practice facility. The future construction will take place in the current Commuter West parking lot, just across the street from the United Supermarkets Arena. The new building will feature modern cutting-edge facilities including two practice courts, a strength and conditioning weight room, coach's office, along with a sports medicine and nutrition area. During the presentation, Hoka also announced that $10 million had already been raised for the project. However, the new facility does come with one downside. More than 150 parking spots will be eliminated from the Commuter West parking lot. Construction on the Womble basketball practice facility is anticipated to start sometime next year. The announcement of the basketball practice facility came shortly after the official opening of the new Sports Performance Center. The new facility, located just south of the Jones AT&T Stadium, has been in use during the 2017 football season. 
It features an indoor football practice facility and an indoor track and field complex is still under construction. Both the basketball practice facility and sports performance center are improvements that Tech hopes will make the university more attractive to future recruits. So Katie, have you made it out to any of the basketball games this year? I actually haven't yet. What about you? School has kept me busy all semester. Yes, me too. That's all for today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thanks so much for joining us and be sure to check out, check out ttuhub.net every day for more news. We'll see you on Thursday.